All right. In this video, we're going to talk about the interquartile range, sometimes abbreviated IQR, and box and whisker plots. There are actually a lot of things on this on Khan Academy, but um, they, they're they split up and they're pretty long, and it doesn't really explain um, how interquartile range and box plots really work together. So I'm going to kind of do both to show you how they're really measuring the same things. Um, the first thing that you need to do when figuring out the interquartile range or a box plot is actually, well, let me step back. A box plot actually represents the interquartile range. So, and a box plot looks like, it looks like, sometimes they're called box and whisker plots because they look like this. And basically this thing in the middle, this or this, this uh, line in the middle is the median. And this is the lowest part of the uh, the lowest number. This little line out to the right is the highest number. And then these guys right here end up being the, this is kind of like the median between the first half of the numbers and the median between the uh, second half or the highest half of the numbers. And so what's, what it's really doing is it's splitting the numbers into four different sections and this middle section that is represented by the box is the interquartile range. So in order to make the box plot you really need to find the interquartile range first. Uh, here I have a, uh, a, stem, a stem and leaf plot and we're going to take these numbers and we're going to find the interquartile range. Um, you already know how to find median so it's it's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, first I'm going to make a list of these values. So we have uh, 65, 65, 66, uh, 70, 78, 79, 80, 83, 88, 89, 91, 92, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to give you some more space, so we got 92, um, 92 again, 95, 96, 100, and 100. There's a lot of numbers here. So basically what we're going to do first is we need to find the median, the middle number. And so let's count these. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. That tells me that there is going to be a middle number. And I know that 7 and 7 would be 14, so like the 8th number is going to be in the middle. And if you're not sure, you could go back and find it yourself. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 89 should be the median. And just to check real quick, we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on that side. So 89 is our median. the median. Okay, now the next thing that you need to do is to find the interquartile range is we are going to actually take the first half of the numbers and the second half of the numbers and essentially find the median of these numbers which would represent kind of one-fourth and the three-fourths along the way. So we are going to take these numbers right here when you have an odd set of numbers, you're going to ignore the median. And I would do another example when we have an even set of numbers. But when you have the um, median, you're actually going to ignore it. And then we're going to look for the middle numbers of here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers again. So there's going to be a middle number. That middle number is the 79. And over here, that middle number is the 95. 
So this is going to be the the this is the lower it's really hard to write with this tiny thing. This is the lower quartile and this is the upper quartile. And to make a box plot, what we do is we take uh, these numbers and we also use the end numbers. And that tells us how where all the pieces of our uh, box plot, uh, or our bo sometimes they're called box and whisker plots, because uh, the little whisker things, our box and whisker plot will look like. So let's go ahead and we're going to make that. So I'll scroll up because we don't really need any of that anymore. We just need these numbers. Here we have a uh, number line along the bottom. So a box and whisker plot is always right next to a just a regular number line. So the first thing we can start with is we can start with the median and we want to make our box and our box is going to represent the the two inside quarters. Notice this is the first, second, third, and fourth quarter. We split it into quarters. So 89, that's about right before the 90. Not quite at 90, a little bit right before. The upper quartile is at 95, so that's right between 100 and 90. And this would be right here, the median is right here. And the lower quartile is at 79, so right below the 80. And this one is right here. Okay, and this becomes our box. The box represents where most of your data falls, where kind of most of it is. And then we can take the, the extremes, the highest number and the lowest number, and those become the whiskers. So the 65 is way out here. If, I, if it draws for me. 65 is way out there, 100 is out here, and we draw our whiskers. So what this box and whisker plot does is it shows us, it breaks things into quarters, and it really helps us visualize that, um, you know, most, we can see that clearly most of the scores are right here towards the, um, between 90 and 100. And then we have some other scores that are here, and then the, a lot of scores are actually really separated way out here. This is helpful to visualize um, how numbers are broken down when you have lots of um, outliers. Let's do one more example. Um, here we have, uh, this is going to be a quicker example. So we have another uh, stem and leaf plot. So our numbers for this guy are, we have 83... 88, 89, 91, 92, 92, 100, and 100. All right, now we don't need, we don't really need this anymore. We're just going to use these numbers. So the first thing we want to do is find the, the median, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight numbers, which actually means that there's going to be two middle numbers. So one, two, three, four, this fourth and the fifth one, these are going to be, these are going to, our two middle numbers. And we can double check because we actually have three over here and we have three numbers over here. And so the median is actually going to be the average of 91. It's going to be right between 91 and 92 or the average of 91 and 91 or sorry, 91, 92. So if you add them, both these together, divide by 2, we're going to get 91 and a half, 91.5. Okay? Now here's the trick when you have uh, no middle number. Like the last, in the last example, we uh, just ignored that middle number, right? And then we just the left and the right were just the remaining numbers. Since there's no middle number here, we actually take, we split it right in half. So the first half is these four numbers, 
and the upper half is those four numbers. And this makes us do, so now we have to find the median of the lower four numbers and the upper four numbers, which means we actually have to find, we have constantly, we're splitting up the, the medians of these things. So this, the middle of this quarter would be 88 and a half, because 88 plus 89 divided by 2 is 88 and a half. And with, it's kind of confusing to have it in green, but with uh, this upper half, we have 92 and 100 as our middle numbers, so we need to add those together. So 100 plus 92 is 192, which would give us um, 96 would be the in between for that number. And then we can, we of course have the, the highest number, which is 100, and the lowest number is 83. And then we can use these numbers to make our box and whisker plot. So our median is going to be the middle, 91.5. So that's going to be somewhere around here, I'll say. And then we have 96, which is going to be about here. Um, 88 and a half would be kind of maybe over here. And this is our box, right? Remember that the, the middle line of the box is the, the median. And the, right, that's how you make those. And then 100 is right here for one whisker, the highest number. And the lowest number is 83, which is down here. Somewhere. And so there's that spread. You can see with this box and whisker plot, it actually looks, everything is way better um, distributed. So a lot of times you might end up with boxes like this, but sometimes when you're making box and whisker plots, you can end up with uh, boxes that, you know, kind of, you'll have, you might have a line down like this, and then it's way up here, and then you have something like this. This box might show that you know only a few people, only a couple people scored really high, and almost everyone scored low. So it really helps you show how things are spread out.